Today we're going to start a new unit of math, and this is a unit on geometry. And a simple definition of geometry is the study of shapes. And really it's more to it than that, but for third grade we're just going to call geometry the study of shapes. Now today we're going to look at three parts of geometry, and this is for Everyday Math Home Link 6.1. But we're going to learn about line segments, rays, and lines. And we'll take each of these one at a time to explain them. First, let's talk about the line segment. And here I have two points, this point and this point. And when you have points, you label them with letters. Now these are not decimal points like we've been working on before. These are just points in space for geometry. So we're going to call this one A and this one over here we will call B. So we have point A and point B. Now if we connect the two points, and I'm going to use a ruler to help me do this straight, a straight edge, we then have a line segment. It starts at A and it ends at B and this is called line segment AB. And to write that we would just write A and B beside each other with a little line over top and that's how you say line segment AB. Now let's talk about a ray. Again, I have two points here, and I will call this one F, this one we can call G, and now we're going to make a ray. A ray starts at one point, and then we're going to start this one at F, and it's going to go towards G. Now, if I stopped here, this would be another line segment, but this is not a line segment, it's a ray. So it keeps going through G, not perfect, you can see there, and it keeps going. So I draw a little arrow to show that this keeps going, okay? And I, when I say keeps going, I mean keeps going forever. Like I'm sitting at my desk right now, so this would keep going through the wall, through the parking lot, out the gate, out of Tokyo. If you see this little arrow on the end of a ray, it means it keeps going, even though I didn't draw it, it keeps going past this. This is called a ray. And to write this ray, you would write F and G beside each other with a line and a little arrow on top. And because the ray starts at F, F has to be the first letter here. So this is ray FG. And finally, let's do the line. Here I have two points again. I'm going to call this one X and this one Y. And for a line, a line keeps going in both directions. So I'm going to start this line here. Goes through X, goes through Y, and it keeps going in both directions. So just like the ray, that side, this side would keep going, and over here as well, that side would keep going through the hallway, into the cafeteria, through the kindergarten, and on and on. Okay, so a line has arrows on both sides because a line never ends. And the way you would write this would be X and Y, and then with a little line on top of it, arrows on both sides. To quickly review all of these one more time, a line segment stops at both points. This would be line segment MN. A ray starts at one point and continues through the other point. So I'm going to start this one on Z, goes through Q, and put the arrow there. Now this one would be ZQ, ray ZQ, and finally a line 
goes through both points and keeps going in both directions. So this could be line uh, AJ or it could also be line JA reversed. Just like this one up here can also be line segment NM. Though the ray, there's only one way to write this because it starts at Z and keeps going. Let's quickly have a look at Homelink 6.1 for third grade everyday math. And the first part here, we need to match each drawing below with one of the names. Okay. So the first one you can see is Ray RS, which they've matched here. Look at this one. This is also the same two letters here for the points, the endpoints, R and S. But if we look at both sides, it keeps going with the arrow, so this is a line. So we need line RS or SR. There it is. So I would write E on this one. The next one, take a look again, RS, but this one starts with S to R. This is a ray, so I think you can find that. The next part uh, asks you to mark points B and C. Put that there and there, and label them B and C, and then you make a line segment. The other thing is you're supposed to use a straight edge. Um, I have a ruler, but you can use really anything that will help you write straight to make my line segment. Like that. And just be careful for the next one. Draw a ray. So please remember what a ray is. T-O. And then some addition practice on the back. That's it. Thank you.